Salam to all. This is my first ever tutorial on YouTube, so I've decided to take on something light, something like JSON. I'm going to show you how to pass a MySQL or MySQL select query result from the server to the client side in JSON format and then loop through them with the help of jQuery. I'm assuming that you already know a little bit of MySQL, a little bit of PHP, a little bit of jQuery in order for you to understand this tutorial. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at our table or database. I have a tutorial DB's table, uh, database prepared here with one table in it called random data. I've pre-populated this table with the data I generated from generatedata.com, which is a very uh, useful online tool, if I may say so. And then uh, let's take a look at our folder structure. I have uh, a JSON to to JSON folder here with some includes. I have my database file, which is just a database class that I created to handle all my, my all my my SQL queries for me whenever I'm not using any MVC framework and then a blank processes file well not blank but almost blank processes file this file should handle all should handle all our server side requests from it now I have my JS folder with the jQuery library of course and then a blank well again almost blank uh, common dot js file all of our javascript or jQuery scripts are going to be in here just for um, orderliness and such I've already created an index file which contains just basic uh, HTML tags I have a link here which when clicked is going to populate this div the div below it with the data that we got from a server so let's take a look at how that looks right now so just this really nothing spectacular for now okay Let's get working. Um, first, let's take charge of our server side process. This is just going to be plain simple scripts, no fancy stuff, no security stuff, just nitty gritty stuff. Okay. Um, first, let's do a query. We're going to get uh, all the records from our table. With a uh, with a MySQL query using my database class, which we can do this way. Um, mm -hmm. table select, and then my table name, which is random data. This is just equivalent to a select all statement, really, from random data. I mean, if you do a a, a plain MySQL query, this is just the equivalent of it. Now we're going to check if our get data is not null. Then we're going to echo our result in JSON format, which we can do using the JSON function of encode JSON function of PHP. Okay, I think we're all set, which is that. Now let's go to our <coughs> jQuery. We're going to create an event which will handle what happens when we click on the link, show records. And we can do that with show records. If our link which has an ID of show records is clicked then what's going to happen is 
jQuery magic. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so what's going to happen is, okay, let's just test this first. So what's going to happen is we're going to rather, what's the tag? Oh, show list. Okay, what's going to happen is we're going to app append to show list uh, on HTM, uh, we're just going to say hello. Or let's not append, let's just use HTML. So if we, let's refresh this, click, it should show. That means it's working quite right. Now we're going to retrieve the data from our database with Ajax. And we can do that simply with a post function. We're going to post two uh, processes which is under includes processes.php and we're going to get the result of that um, and then <laughs> I'm working from a somewhat dark room so I'm looking for my keys every now and then okay so now that we have that we can tested by populating our show list div with the result of this Ajax function. Let's try that. Oh! We have an error on the server side. Let's see. Encode. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. It's JSON encode. Not encode JSON. Sorry about that. Okay, so now we have our data, as you can see, that we retrieved from the database already in JSON format. The next thing we're going to do is to parse that. Parse, we're going to parse that data and turn it into an object under jQuery. Oh, in here, rather. Let me just comment on that. <coughs> Alarm clock, hold on. So we're going to create a data, a variable called push data. This is going to con contain the parsed uh, parsed data from a server. Um, so what this really does, what this one line does is it converts all of that data that we got in JSON format from the server into an object so that it's easily accessible as an object for us here. Now, now that uh, we have that data, we're going to loop through them. How do we do that? We do that by using the jQuery um, iteration function each. Okay, so now we have, oops, each, each, each of the push data element will then be iterated in our function. Um, survey data. Okay. Now, how do we do this? Uh, let me just create a an element here that's empty. Var say HTML data equals blank. So now <coughs> my HTML data is going to be equ equals to HTML data plus. Um, I'm just going to create to show it in simple plain format here. Um, dash plus our server data dot our table field name address zip so name see we have and then <coughs> comma space and then server data dot address 
and then maybe another comma space and then our server data dot zip code okay and here down here here down here here we're going to replace that with with HTML data see this and let's show records whoops I think we have an error JavaScript error oh here what the hell happened there okay <coughs> Do that again. Oh, so now, oh yeah, as you can see, now we have it actually shows all of our records, but we just need to add a line break at the end of it here. I can't see my keyboard. I'm typing in the dark. It's just a line break so that uh, we'll have our data all right there so that's pretty much the basics of it now what happens if you want to pass along other data other than just the result of your query say for example you want to pass along a state value um, for instance in addition to your query details you want to pass say for example the user ID of the one who queried it you want to pass on an additional variable or an additional value of let's say apple or fruit the fruit name apple so how do you include that in that setup so what we can do is we can create an array say for example my array and we can what we can do is we can say array all right we can create my fruit here fruit fruit let's just use string fruit would be equals to fruit the value of our apple up here and course our table which is going to be our get data table so now instead of encoding our get data we're going to encode our array my array so now when we get back here of course it's going to push well it's not going to work properly because we're no longer parsing the right uh, variables let's just say here my fruit is the way you can do this is you can push data fruit and then we can do we can add a line break working blind okay now what happens here is we have an object called f or, or or yeah inside our object we added where is my code here we added an extra um, array here an extra dimension of fruit which is different from our table so how do we access our table now we can do that by typing now dot table let's take a look at that result of that whoops um, Oh, error. Save. There you go. Now, as you can see, 
our first element is displayed here. The first element that we passed, or non element, but the first um, dimension, oh, I don't know what you call that. The first in the iteration, anyway, but yeah. So, just in case you want to pass any variable along with the table, whether it's a, a variable to indicate your state, maybe, to indicate a, a mode of operation or whatever. Whenever you want to do that, you can just do it this way. Or if you want to add vegetable, vegetable. Um, let's say your vegetable is uh, eggplant, which is surprisingly one of my favorite vegetables. Ooh, and also some people argue is in fact a fruit. But yeah, sure, if they say so. Um, now we can just have can just add here plus my vegetable plus um, pushed data that vegetable and let's refresh that that's my alarm clock again so there you go that's two veg two two additionals. Now, of course, you do know that you can you can add multiple table results. For example, when you push to the server, or you can you know it's, I'll leave it to your own creativity and to, to handle these things. So anyway, uh, I think that's pretty much our tutorial for the day, and I hope this helps uh, whoever and. Since this is my first time, if you have good things to say about it, or if you have any constructive criticism, just um, write a comment down there. And if you don't, zip it. Okay? Just kidding. <laughs> Alright. Um, have a good day.